This TBM Avenger kit by Comet dates from the 1940s and 50s. As a stick and tissue model, it is more designed as a flying model than an accurate scale model. The design is still a compromise of those two aspects, as the weight of the structure to make it look like an Avenger and the aerodynamic problems involved compromise the model's flying potential. Comet was one of the primary stick and tissue model makers, along with Gillows and Cleveland. There were many more. Comet made solid balsa wood scale models before I started modeling, so I never saw such kits as a young model modeler. Let's look at the kit. Here are the plans. Tissue to cover the kit with. And here's pretty much the key to the structure of the kit. The print wood. Basically all the parts you need are printed on, literally on the wood. And you would have to cut all these parts out, conceivably with a sharp knife or an exacto knife. I was fortunate to have a, a bare minimum scroll saw, which made it easier to cut the parts out. But since they're balsa wood, uh, the scroll saw was almost too strong and it was very difficult to keep from cutting too much. And here's the stick part of the stick and tissue. These are not balsa wood. They're a, I don't know what wood it is, but it's considerably stronger than balsa wood and much more easily bent. I have actually made stick and tissue models in which the sticks are balsa wood and they're really easy to break. So it makes it very difficult. Then we have some nice wheels, a plastic prop that used to be wood, a little button for the prop to run against, the uh, motor, and the drive shaft for the propeller. Here are the plans. By today's kit standards, they would be enormous. The reason they have to be so big is the way you built the model was to actually lay out the parts on the plan. Uh, you put down a piece of wax paper first and then pin the parts on there to glue them into this shape as the first step of building the fuselage. And similarly, the tail and the and the uh, wings would be uh, built right over the plan, so you had to have a lot of plans to fit. To build the fuselage, as I say, you pin the, the outline down, then you put the various formers, which you cut out, out of the print wood. Here's an example of the, of the print wood. And, and keyed them into the the detail that you'd build here. Then you put another larger stringer along the side to attach the wings. And then you put all the print, all the uh, sticks of the stick and tissue through these various little slots in the formers to form the fuselage. Similarly, to build the wing and the tail, you built this part here. Similar to build the wings, you would pin this over the plans and glue it, and then glue the cut out uh, wing formers. Here are some of them, but there's a whole wing worth of them. And the tail is built in the same manner. The canopy in the original model was made by cutting out this pat this pattern from the plans and installing it. I never successfully did this on any model that had this system. Uh, I found out that uh, roll camera film uh, negatives could be modified by washing off the emulsion into a clear piece of plastic and then used with this pattern to make a clear canopy. This kit comes with a sheet of clear plastic, just barely big enough to fit the, the plan for the same purpose.
plans are like 36 inches across. The landing gear attachment is a little bit more complex than you would have expected. Here's the details of the paper or plastic canopy installation. There are no decals provided in the kit. Here they are in the plans to be cut out and installed black and white. There's minimal instruction on pre preparing the airplane for flight and, and flying it either as a free flight or a tether uh, flight airplane. Here's our Avenger in a 1952 catalog. Note that there's a non-scale flying model added in there. Also, there are two jets, which seems unlikely since they have no power source. But think about making a scale model that big out of a piece of balsa. You'd have to have a log. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, you may like some of my others. Also, please give me a like and consider subscribing. Thanks again.